Hi, your friendos. Thanks for checking out my next video. Uh, this topic is going to be about my diagnosis with cancer and also to give you a little insight on uh, how my health has been actually since before I was born. Uh, <laughs> well, unfortunately, my mother lost a baby before me, so uh, I think she was pretty far and it was uh, pretty far along and uh, then I came in right away and when I was about to make my debut uh, I decided that I wanted to be breech which means that I put my feet up instead of my head and so they needed to do a cesarean and when the surgeon you know he when the doctor cut up with my mom my eyes were right there so if it wasn't for the amazing technique of the surgeon I uh, might have lost my my eyes <laughs> so very grateful to him and so then when they were bringing me out the umbilical cord was wrapped around my head very tightly uh, so it was a little bit of a struggle for me to get here and <laughs> uh, but I made it so moving forward to about five years old my mother uh, noticed that my feet kind of looked a little interesting they didn't look uh, normal and sure enough, as I grew, my toes uh, actually uh, wouldn't catch up. They were about the half the size the other toes were. And that is actually called brachymetatarsia. If you have it on both feet, it's called brachymetaphody. And I was the lucky one, and I got it on both feet. So basically, you take your pinky toe, the next two toes over, those two toes were very, very short. So that caused me to pronate all my life and because of that I started building up tension and inflammation and muscles along my spinal cord and the pain would not only radiate down there but come up and I would have just these horrible um, headaches and migraines and they would just start here and then go up um, so I've I have dealt with this all my life uh, this year I'll be 32 years old so quite a long time um, so because of the, the pronating, I was in a lot of pain and I didn't realize that I was doing that. Um, but I did know that my feet were affecting my gait and affecting my body and my well-being. So I went ahead and I got surgery on my left foot and they basically put a fixator on top of my foot. Uh, they break, uh, the bone on each of the toes and then they put two pins on either side fixator goes on and I take an Allen wrench and I crank it and it would separate very little each day so over time you know the toes would go where I wanted them to have that you know perfect Barbie foot uh, so that was an experience um, the toes came out great um, I, I was just waiting on my right foot because I can't drive and that means no working so uh, you know until recently I was trying to figure out the best option, <clears throat> excuse me, to do that uh, when to do the next surgery. So let's see here. This time I wrote notes. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so most of my life I've dealt with um, a lot of chronic pain and it wasn't until recently where I really started to try to uh, look at more natural things uh, because going the pharmaceutical way can be very taxing on the body and very damaging and have lots of consequences as well like addiction. So moving forward, uh, I have been either a CNA or a private caregiver for a long time now. I got my certificate in 2009 and I love taking care of the elderly, love them so much. Uh, it's definitely one of my callings and I think they like me too, which makes things easier. Um, so my most current patient, um, which I don't like referring to her as that because she's like family. Uh, but I've been with her for four and a half years and just recently I've had to stop um, taking care of her. Uh, I have had some damages to my body while helping her because she is total care and transferring and moving in the bed. It's very hard on the body. Well, I ended up ripping muscles in my, uh, uh, my ribs, like it's your intercoastal muscles and I ripped that from her, from lifting her. <laughs> And so, you know, that should have been like a kind of a point where I'm like, you know, this job is 
kind of hard on my body, you know? I mean, I know I've been doing this for years, but it's getting harder. And so much so that uh, I wasn't able to sleep at night. Like, yes, I had some pain pills, um, but it didn't always help. And so I would get a really shoddy night's sleep and I'd be drained the next day. So what do I do? Coffee, sugar. Yeah, right? <laughs> I know you guys can relate. And so basically I was consuming so much sugar and um, eating the wrong foods that I just, it was comforting at the time, but then overall, like throughout the day, I just felt really tired and worse on top of everything else that I was feeling. <sighs> so it was just like, I was just spiraling and um, I was eating, you know, really fatty foods. And so I was uh, intaking a lot of salt. And so looking back at some pictures, you know, I was really round and I look at myself, I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, I was not taking care of myself at all. <laughs> uh, it's kind of like, I thought I was a little, but looking back, no. I, I didn't follow through as much as I could have. So lesson learned. Um, but you know, I see why I was in that headspace and doing those kind of destructive things. Um, it was so bad. The pain was so bad that I could, I couldn't get out of bed unless I popped a pill, a half a pill at that, but still to get out of bed. I mean, so, you know, by the grace of God, I was still able to smile. Uh, I was, I still had a jo joyful heart. I definitely was still going through things that I'll be touching on later. Uh, but somehow I still managed to stay pretty chummy, pretty happy, pretty grateful. You know, it could have been a lot worse, but, uh, there was definitely dark times. And like I said, I'll be getting into that. Just trying to give you a background of, um, my medical, uh, history and whatnot. I'm going someplace, believe it or not. So with this job, uh, you know, I was in a lot of pain and I just chalked it up to the job, chalked it up to the fact that I have these funny feet and, um, I've had years of damage of walking on these funny feet and now I'm just facing the repercussions and it's going to take a long time for my body to, you know, have a better gait, a less damaging gait. So then, uh, I want to say, let's see, I, Joseph and I got married October 28th, 2017. And that year I was feeling sciatic pain and, um, basically it's your sciatic nerve and it runs kind of in your hip down. And so I, you know, was looking up, you know, cause I thought it was sciatica and I, I kept telling people I had this pain in my butt. Like, right, I, I genuinely do. And, and then it would radiate down the front of my thigh. And, uh, you know, I was doing like little exercises I found on YouTube. Um, I was trying to, to consume more turmeric, you know, but still eating the way I was eating. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, you know, so it was like the effort was there, but I was still doing too much damage. Anyways, moving on. Uh, so I never went to a doctor to go get, you know, a scan. And, uh, it wasn't until I went to this, uh, a chiropractor that, um, is, uh, very well known with my friends. Um, he said, you know, you should probably get an MRI, you know, just check out your spinal column. You know, maybe there's something out. And I've had other chiropractors say my pelvis is out. It's not you know, in sync, it's not where it should be. And I just figured it's from the put, you know, just the, the, uh, the transferring, just the hard work it is being a, a caregiver. <sighs> so, um, f flash forward, um, to June 6, 2018, I was at work. It was about six 30 and I was like, Hmm, should I go to Bible study? Should I not? And I just started going and I love it. But something kind of was like, you should go home. And I wasn't really sure why, but I was going with it. And I came home and I was like, you know what? I am feeling good a little bit better today. You know, maybe 
maybe I'll do some stretching or go on my uh, yoga trapeze. And so I started to stretch on my yoga mat and Joseph comes in. He had to stop in for a minute. He takes off. He's got to go to work. And uh, um, he comes back. Oh, no, sorry. He left. <laughs> sorry, I spaced out. Um, he leaves. I started stretching and then uh, I decide to get up on the trapeze. So basically it's like a hammock and then there's handles on each side and then I have a rig that looks like a uh, swing set basically. So like four beams and you know, got it. Okay. Uh, so I basically was flipped upside down and coming out like Superman. So I had my hands out with the handles and then my feet behind me in a diamond shape. And it's as if somebody just kind of flicked and my hip collapsed. I flipped and right on my floor in my living room. And I feel so horrible saying this, but I said, God, and I was screaming and I was mad at God. And I was like, what the heck? Like I just started feeling good. And now I have this crazy pain. It probably broke my pelvis. I just, I don't want to be in pain anymore. This is ridiculous. You know, I just, all these thoughts were in my head and <laughs> My animals were no help. They just stared at me on the ground, wallowing. But that's okay. At least they were there. And uh, so Joseph comes home, and I just raise up my hand, and I say, Hey, I'm okay, because I knew my face was all red. And, uh, you know, cry. So, um... I tell him what happens. He helps me to bed. And the next day, uh, my good friend takes me to the ER. And I cannot walk. So she's holding me. We're just hobbling along, getting into the ER. And uh, lots of tests, blood tests, scans, you know, all that. And uh, my husband finally gets off of work, and so they switch. So she leaves. He takes over. Now he, we're on hour five. And so the doctor comes up to us, and he says... Uh, you know, you don't have a fracture, but you have a mass in your pelvis and coming from a nursing background, I'm like, okay, mass, uh, it's cancer. I mean, my dad, my mom, my aunt, my grandpa, my friends, my friends, family, it's everywhere. Everyone's getting cancer, but I'm 30 years old. There's no way, no way. Like... So, needless to say, we left the hospital a little wrecked, and uh, I just started praying to God, and um, well, after the doctor had told me, I did go down the dark side. I was like, I saw myself at my funeral. I saw Joseph looking down at me in the, you know, in the grave, and I saw it all. I was like, I'm going to die. <sighs> oh my God, I'm going to die. Like... So I snapped out of that after a little while, but I definitely went down there. Um, so basically, I think I'm going to stop this video at that. Um, just wanted to give you, you know, a background, um, you know, on my health and things that I've gone through. But what I do want to say is... Even if you feel like it's not a big deal or the doctor is going to be like, you shouldn't have come in, go, go to the doctor. Even if you think it's, oh, it's just this, oh, it's just that, like your body is telling you something and pain is a good indicator that you should pay attention to it like right now. And I made that mistake. I don't con condemn myself at all. I don't go... I mean, I have gone, what if, but the damage was done and I'll get into that later, but just please go to your doctor, do research, take care of your body. That means the food that you put into it, take care of your heart, your mind. Those will be other videos as well that I want to touch on, but just 
go get that check out whatever it is if you're in pain if you're worried just go all right so that's it <laughs> i promise i won't tell you what to do again for now all right sir you want to say bye she's out all right folks hope you enjoyed this video and uh if you have any comments questions please feel free drop me a line below and uh until next time god bless bye